Hello everyone, this is Ram from SGS Sainik Academy, Vishakapatnam. Yes, so we have fixed the 117 days target and today our target number is 62. Yes, uh, my dear students, already we are uh, listening the classes and we are practicing the exams even though why we fixed these targets because don't go blindly. Just think before solve the exam, solve the question in the examination. That's why I fixed the 117 dot targets. Everyone is uh, uh, reading perfectly and writing the exams very nice. But sometimes uh, smart work and uh, skill is very important uh, to pick the correct answer in the right time. That's why we fix the 117 targets. Many, tar I mean, many techniques I told already. Uh, keep in your mind. Yes, keep in your mind. Why? Because yes, here practical knowledge is very essential. That means very important. Without practice, we cannot do. And without practical uh, knowledge, we cannot uh, uh, estimate the answer. Sometimes so we have to estimate the answer. Yes. Uh, those may be, the answers may be uh, the answers may be various answers and also the answers may be in the word format yes word format not the in the figure word format that word format we can compare that yes already we know the even numbers odd numbers prime numbers uh, consecutive numbers uh, and um, natural numbers whole numbers like that so uh, in this part of that uh, how can the uh, how uh, is it possible to come the uh, sums like uh, in the word section that means options may be in the word format how can it so is it possible yes if you look at the sub question yes it is possible right see here the question is m square minus 1 is divisible by 8 yes they are saying that they are saying that m square minus 1 is exactly divisible by 8 that means uh, always it comes uh, divisible by 8 that means uh, 0 will comes so always remind uh, then m is a then m is a so what is M? Ante inti ante. Kada yam place lo ye number ni uchte ganaka. What number must be substitute in the place of M? Then it is divisible by ye. Mani ko kya equation chalo? Yam square minus one divided by eight. Divisible by eight means a ne no ekra zero ani petku na. Nindu kante ye number na ganey ekra eight to divide chesta remainder zero usundi. Zero ante ne no waste ko na ekra ante value bolle. Exactly divisible by another ga bate. Ati yam place lo ye mun daali another. Ekra option choose na kile the manke exact numbers ani be bolle. Yes, here they they did not give the they did not mention exact numbers. They mentioned the some words. What is the word sentences? An even number. Maybe M is an even number. Yes. Manam, first of all, even numbers are eight. Don't notice this. Kunda. Even numbers are eight. Two and eight. Zero. Two. So okay. And uh, four. Six. Eight. Like this. Okay. Even numbers. All numbers are eight. Don't shoot All numbers are eight. One, three, five, and seven, nine, eleven. Right and odd numbers. Next uh, uh, option C here. The option C is option C. Yes, option C is natural numbers. Natural numbers means see here one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. And you know that whole numbers. If I put a make all at this whole numbers and a zero to start out there. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So here, if you know this, then only you can guess the, you can uh, correct, uh, you can pick the correct answer. That's why I'm telling that practical knowledge is very important. First, we'll check that whether even number, for example, in place of uh, uh, m, if I keep the even number, even number, what will happen? M means two. Even number means two square minus one. Two square minus one means four minus one. Four minus one, three. Three is not eligible by eight. So okay, I will take the one more example. Four. Four square minus one. Four means M. Four square minus one. Four. Four square means four. Four is sixteen. Sixteen minus one, fifteen. Fifteen not eligible by eight. So even number is not possible. Even number is not possible. So option A is not correct. Option A is not correct. So. Right, so even number is not possible. We'll go the next one, odd number. So odd number, for example, one. 
so if if in case uh, m is one one square minus one that is equals to zero so zero is uh, we cannot take the zero that's why just keep it and we'll go the next one if m is if m is 3, if m is 3, means I am taking the odd numbers, m is 3, then 3 square minus 1, m is 3, 3 square, 3 square means 9, 9 minus 1, 8, yeah, 8 is comes in 8 table, we will go the next one, 3 is coming, 1 also coming, why, because 0 means you, you can take that, it is exactly eligible by, next we will take the 5, so 5 square minus 1, 5 square means 25, 25 minus 1, 20, 25, 5 square means 25, 25 minus 1, 24, a3 is at 24, in 8 people 24 will comes. That means this equation is possible with the uh, odd numbers. Yes, 7 square minus 1, 7 square is 49, 49 minus 1, 48. Yes, 48 also comes in the 8 table. You can go the 8, 8 square, 8 square, sorry, 8 is an even number. So we will go the next, uh, next, what is the next odd number? 9, 9 square minus 1, 81 minus 1, that means 8. Yes, everyone, everything is coming. 11 also, 11 square minus 1, 11 square means uh, 120. See, yes, 11, 11 square, 11 square minus 121 minus 1, that means 120, 120 also comes in the 8 table. That means option B is correct, why? Because if you keep an odd number in the place of M, exactly the equation is possible. And see that option C is not possible. Why? Because natural numbers 1, 2, 3, odd numbers, even numbers is there. So in the even numbers it is not possible. So option C is not correct. Option D also not correct. Why? Because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is also not correct. This is also not applicable. Even numbers also not applicable. When the M is an odd number, then only this equation will be applicable. See how the sum is beautiful. And why? Because this type of uh, questions will come from the number system, from the whole numbers. Already we studied what are the whole numbers, what are the even numbers, what are the odd numbers, what are the prime numbers, like that. So, but how the sums will come means like this the sums will come. Definitely these types of sums will be uh, comes in the, will become in the final examination. So, be practical and once again watch this video then you will understand very well. Okay, my dear students, all the best everyone. Take care and bye-bye.